Yes, I remember a young Cyril was the, um, the boy that uh, picked up all the boys to go at AB, APB. He, um, he was a supervisor and my brother lived next door to him, it is Cyril, um, Cyril Hunter, and my brother just lived next door, Richard Clement. And they, he went, went out with Cyril to uh, do the APB job out, out on the rivers or somewhere. Yeah. And um, when they used to go for weeks, out there doing spraying the weeds that come back and um, I do his washing in my washing machine where I wash my all my children's clothes and in the tub in the tub where I used to soak the, his clothes and that's where my children used to have their bath they used to love uh, having bath in the tub. Yeah, and he, he was, um, he used to go on for weeks out to, uh, out bush. And then he'd come in, I used to cook his food when he, and wash his clothes. Yeah, that's, yeah, there were yeah, a lot of young, young fellas went out there. And uh, Cyril was the supervisor, yeah. And then they had no protection from what I've known. You know, they were just spraying, uh, uh, doing the spraying on bare feet. Like, you know, they had uh, tongs or so, uh, on, you know, and um, they had tongs on, or boots. And uh, nothing to protect their clothes from that spray. And uh, they, they used to, he used to come home smelling of that spray all over his clothes when we got back into town and come home. Yes, um, my brother got sick just out of the blues and he's a very strong person, big man, well-built person. And he come home one day and he told me and my daughter I've got this what he called cheeky pain in, in his heart. And I said, you better go to the hospital and get it checked out. And of course, um, my daughter told him to, to go to the hospital. So he went to the hospital to get this pain checked out in his heart. And uh, they just gave him a Panadol to take and he went back home. That very evening, when he got back home, he, they found him. He was dead on his on his mattress in the lounge room. Yeah, it was a bit of a shock to us because he was a well-built person. So what could have caused that? You know, we was uh, wondering what could have caused, caused him to uh, pass away like that. Nothing ever eventuated out of the meetings we went to with these um, APB. We, we went to um, have meetings with these people, but nothing, we've never heard about what had happened or, you know, the, people never got back to us to see what was the outcome of, of that meeting, you know? And we still left in the dark. We don't know. So, for our for our family's sake, we'd like to know, you know, what what is really cause of this um, death in our family, even with these young people, you know. They, they were too young and healthy to pass away like that, you know? And over the years, I, I, I started to get asthma myself when I was thinking, oh, it, it never happened to our old people. 
we never had as asthma. It was never known for our old people to have asthma. And yet, yet our young people like us end up with asthma. I was thinking, oh, well, what could have caused this asthma? Me. You know? It's only since I've I reckon since I've started washing my brother's clothes with the, that stuff, yeah, that smell. Mm.